Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create and export a image file in Adobe After Effects. So today for this tutorial I'm going to be using a trap code form and I'm going to be using some of their presets to create this image right here. But I'm going to be showing you how to export any work in Adobe After Effects into an image file. It can be in a PNG file or a JPEG file and you will need Adobe Media Encoder to do this. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I just want to thank anyone who is already subscribed to my channel. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna be formatting this as if I'm just creating an image file and that's it, not a sequence. So I'm gonna set this at 2500, 2500, and I'm only gonna set it for one frame. There is also an option to export like a JPEG sequence, so then you would obviously set it for longer than one frame if you're looking to set up a sequence. So I just went to layer new solid to create my background layer and then I'm just going to layer new solid again and this is going to be one of my trap code form presets so I'm just going to go to effect trap code form and right here I'm going to go under the designer tab and then on the top left I'm going to go under presets and then I'm going to go under uh, multiple form presets and under grids I'm just going to select this V grid and then I'm going to select apply. And now I'm just going to reposition this to the bottom of the composition. So now we're going to create another layer, just layer new solid. And this is going to be another trap code form preset layer. And I'm just going to name this city. And then just go to effect, trap code, trap code form. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go under base form and under base form, we're going to choose OBJ model. And then I'm going to go to choose OBJ and I'm going to choose city and click OK. And now I'm just going to put this behind the floor layer. And now I'm just going to lock my other layer so that I don't reposition those layers and I'm going to move the city layer up a little bit and now under size I'm going to go to individual XYZ and then I'm just going to reposition the city so that it fits the entire composition so I'm just going to bring up the size X and size Y position and size Z so if you have trap code form you can definitely play around with the presets the OBJs or even create your own digital art piece and there's some really creative stuff that you can do with trap code form. And now I'm going to go under OBJ settings and I'm just going to bring down the particle density so I'm just going to bring this down to 25. And then under particle I'm going to resize it, I'm going to bring the size down to 1. So now I'm just going to add a glow to the city. I'm going to go to effects with my city layer selected, go to trap code star glow. Um, if you have the trap code suite, you'll have the star glow effect. Um, if you don't have this, um, you can just add a glow by simply going to effects and presets and searching glow. Um, it's not going to have the same options as the star glow, but it'll still give you a glow to your city if that's the look you're going for. So I'm just going to play around with some of the settings. I'm going to adjust the streak length and the opacity, the star glow opacity. Um, there's a bunch of different presets you can choose from, so you can kind of play around. If you do have the star glow, you can select different presets to get the effect that you want. And now I'm just going to add another star glow to my floor layer as well. And I'm going to use the same preset warm star. And I just adjusted the streak length as well. And now I'm just going to create a new layer. So I'm going to go to layer new solid. I'm just going to add some stars in the background. So I'm going to make this a white layer. And then I'm just going to bring it behind the city. So now you can see um, I, I need to go under effects and presets. 
and just type in CC ball action and drag that into the stars layer. Scatter, I'm going to bring all the way up. And grid spacing, I'm going to bring down to two. And ball size, I am going to change to 24. Okay, so that's it for the image. So now we're ready to export it to the Adobe Media Coder so that we can export it as a JPEG file or PNG file. So what you're going to do is go to File, Export, and then go to Add to Adobe Media Encoder. And it's going to take a couple minutes for it to pop up, so I'm just going to speed this part up. So now we're in the Adobe Media Coder, and it'll just take a couple minutes for our image file to pop up in the queue. So once it pops up in your queue, um, you're going to have a few different options to choose from. So you just select the little arrow, and as you can see, there's all these options to choose from. I already have the JPEG uh, file selected, or you can also choose PNG. And all you have to do is just hit play, and it's going to export your image in a JPEG file. And then once the render is complete, I just um, double click on the file to pull up the image. And as you can see, here's the final JPEG file that was exported from After Effects. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.